Hey everyone, it's your boy Devich and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to show you how to build a cool character riding system. Like we can control this NPC by riding on their shoulder. Same as we control horses in our game. Pretty awesome, right? And when you will press your E key, you will easily dismount from this. So this is going to be very interesting and I think cool video to do. So let's hit begin. So here inside my content, I have two sitting animation from Mixamo, which you can download from the link in the description. And the first thing that we are going to do is to duplicate our third person character. And why we are doing it to avoid the camera setup and copying the movement for our mountable character. Now name it whatever you want and double click to open it. And here you can select your character mesh, whatever you want to use. In my case, I'm using many. Now I want when the player will come near to our this NPC, it will detect the NPC. And for this detection, we will use a sphere collision for our this tutorial. So simply add it as a child in our mesh and adjust its location as per your need. Now add a on component begin overlap event from our this sphere and to avoid casting we will create a blueprint interface. So come to your content browser here right click and create a new blueprint interface name it whatever you want and double click to open it and inside it make two function first one will be for our destroy function and second one will be for our back to poses and you will get the idea what is the actual purpose of these two functions later in this video now open your players blueprint and under class setting implement our recently created interface after that you will find that we have our both function here so simply right click and implement the event now back to our mountable NPC character from our this component begin overlap node get for each loop and from its array get a overlapping actor node and under its class filter select our third person character and from its array element search for node called does object implement interface and under interface select our BPI mount one that we just created and from its return value get a branch now get a player's controller and from it search for possess node this possess node will actually help us to switch the controls from our player to our this character and make sure to connect it with our true and under pawn get a reference of a self now let's give it a try so here you can see after overlapping with our npc or this character our controller will be switched with him like we will able to control our this npc but you will find out that our player is still in the map playing our this animation so after the possess will be completed we have to delete this so for that come back to our mountable character and here from array element call our destroy function that we created inside our interface and ignore the spelling of destroy and between the possess and destroy node add a delay node with least possible value and then come to our player's blueprint and add a destroy actor after our destroy event and let's give it a try so there you can see it's working absolutely fine now the next thing that we want is our player to sit on the shoulders of our character so for that we have two options first is to connect our character mesh with attach component to component or second simply add a mesh as a child of our mountable character and we can set it visible and invisible for a particular function so for tutorial we will go with the simpler one so by selecting our main mesh add another skeletal mesh rename it as skeleton player and under its skeletal mesh asset select your player mesh and for the animation mode if you have a single animation use animation asset but if you have a proper animation then use animation blueprint and in our case we have two animations so we will go with animation blueprint so let's create one so under our content browser right click and create a new blend space 1d name it whatever you want and double click to open it here turn on the scale animation and for the name of our horizontal axis make it speed and the maximum access value will be similar to the max walk speed of your mountable character which is 500 in my case lastly search for the board sitting animation and add it into our graph and here the animations are not perfectly suitable for our, our this system but i didn't find any other animation so that's why i'm using the mixamo animation so now we will work on our animation blueprint so right click on your content browser and create a an animation blueprint name it whatever you want and double click to open it here search for our blend space that we just created to connect with our output pose and promote this speed variable now come to event graph and from our pawn owner get a node called velocity and from this velocity get a vector length lastly set our speed variable as vector length then compile and save it now come back to our mountable character here under nm class select our created animation blueprint and make sure to properly align it with the parent bone socket for this tutorial i am connecting it on player's head and will adjust it roughly but i believe you are going to connect it properly by making a proper socket for it now back to our blueprint drag our player mesh in our graph and from it search for 
set visible node and check new visible and make sure that player visibility should be not checked for default now let's give it a try so here inside our game you can see as soon as we will come closer now our player is attached to our npc's head or what to say the shoulders we are sitting on npc's shoulder and you can even see the blend of the animation like when he will be in the idle we will play the rest animation and once he will be walking we will play the clapping sitting animation so yeah the animations are looking good and now we have to work on our dismounting function like after pressing a key we will be able to dismount from our this npc and we will get back to our normal controller so let's work on it so come to npc's blueprint here search for your desired key and from it get a spawn actor of a class and under this actor select our player character and for this transformation add a arrow in our character for the transformation reference or you can add any other object or component that will be not visible in the game and align it to your desired location then drag and get this arrow in our graph and from it search for get world transformation and connect it with the spawn transformation now again get the player controller and search for unpossess that node will remove the control from our npc character now come back to our players blueprint and here copy and paste our possess node and connect it with our get back to possess event again come back to our mountable character and from this return value search for our get back to possess event and in last we will set our child player mesh as invisible again so what this all blueprint will actually do after pressing our e key it will spawn our third person character in our map where our arrow is and at that same time our player or what to say our npc will be unpossessed and we will get our control back to our third person character and lastly we are hiding our child mesh so our child mesh will be also not visible so let's give it a try so yeah that's working absolutely fine i can easily mount and dismount from my this npc character smoothly and here i don't have a proper animations for like mounting and dismounting so to avoid that i'm using a camera feed but if you have then make sure to use the proper animation here just play the montage and do all the stuffs after that it will look much better and you can also add this camera feed if you don't have the animations so that's enough for this video if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section and you can join our discord server for more updates and you can get this project from patreon so support at patreon and don't forget to like the video so it will reach out to the more person and it's important to subscribe bye bye